What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and I'm just gonna do a quick kind of video on should you upgrade from the Momentum 2s, or if you're thinking about the 3s and you see the price of the 2s going for about a 100 bucks now on eBay, you might consider just picking these up. Well, I'm gonna say right away, don't do it. Pick up the Momentum 3s, the soundstage. Well, let's get into this mini review of this Momentum Wireless 3s from Sennheiser. The Momentum 3s from Sennheiser are a $400 pair of Bluetooth headphones. They are a little bit more expensive than say the $100 Momentum 2s right now that you can get on eBay. But I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, do not buy the 2s. If you're looking for a great pair of headphones, purchase the 3s instead. But if you are on a budget, there's nothing wrong with the 2. I'm gonna do a mini comparison between these two as well. But the main specs of the Momentum 3 wireless, this is now finally Bluetooth 5.0 with USB-C charging, and that's a huge reason to upgrade right there. You also get the Google Assistant or Siri or Alexa coming soon via this little button down here. You have your volume, you have your double tap to change the track, triple tap to reverse the track, and you also get your noise canceling toggle right over here, so you can turn it off on or have something that lets you to pause it while you're in a conversation with someone. So I like having physical buttons myself. The overall build quality from Sennheiser is something that you cannot beat it. It's a very, very comfortable headphone, very plush, very nice padding all around on the actual band itself. And you do have a stainless steel, a metal build here, a very well built piece of headphone. When you fold up the Momentum 3s, this is the size that you can expect. Again, it's pretty much the same as the Momentum 2s. You get about the same kind of dimensions from both of them. It's not the smallest in the world, but it is not the worst in the world either. Now let's just do a quick comparison between these two. Again, if you're thinking about upgrading, I suggest that you do it, mainly because I had a huge problem with the Momentum 2s that they did not get loud enough for me. It was just something that I always use these on max volume. And at max volume, it still was not loud enough for me traveling through New York City, just commuting. It was something that always bothered me. While I think the sound stage, the quality of the sound, the quality of your music on the 2.0s was really, really good. And that's why I decided to upgrade to the 3.0s as well, because Sennheiser makes a really great sounding headphone. It's not gonna be the bassiest in the world. It's not gonna be a skull crusher, but you get a very nice refined sound from the Momentum 3s and the Momentum 2s. But now the Momentum 3s are just so much louder that I keep these usually on 30 to 40%. While no joke, I had the Momentum 2s on 100 all of the time. Battery life, they claim about 17 hours. I'm not wearing headphones for 17 hours, guys, but I can tell you that quick charging via USB-C works. I went from 10% to 60% in about 10 minutes, and they say that'll give you about 10 hours of charge. So if you are in a hurry, you can quickly charge these up, but to fully charge them, it took me close to three hours to get these to 100. So you can quick charge them, but if you want to fully charge them, it does take some time. Another thing I also want to mention, at $400, I think they didn't do a good job with the carry case. This is the carry case that it came with, and it's super chinzy, super chintzy, super flimsy. This is the carry case that came with the Momentum 2s, and while it is a little bit flimsy as well, at least it felt a little bit nicer. This is like some cheap cloth, whereas this had a nice velour type of feel. I know it wasn't velour, but it still felt really nice with the stitching and whatnot. And then they also gave you a nice little bag as well to put your headphones in and put them in the case. That's not what comes with the Momentum 3s inside and what you get is a very nice USB-C to USB-C cable. You also get, you know what this is, that's for the trolls right over there. You also get your passive cables. So if you do run out of juice, you can just plug these in and you'll still be able to get music. Definitely a plus if you're rocking a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So if your phone still uses one of these, you'll be good to go. And then you have a USB-A to C adapter. So you can plug this into your computer or whatever and still be able to get sound or you'll still be able to charge them. I think they really should have given us some sort of hard case just like this. Now I got this from a $40 pair of Bluetooth headphones. That were super cheap, but I'm decided that I'm gonna use this case because they fit actually perfectly. And then when you throw this in your bag, at least you get a little bit more protection. So Sennheiser, I wish you gave us one of these hard shell cases, but it is what it is. And I think you can buy these on Amazon for only a few dollars. I'll leave the link 
down in my description below. But to go over the headphones themselves, again, super awesome, very, very comfortable. The minute that you unwrap these, it will start pairing to your phone, so you don't get an on-off button like you did with the Sennheisers too, and that's super convenient in my opinion. The codecs in here, you get all the high-end codecs. You get the Aptex, Aptex HD. You also get the AAC codec, so there's no latency, there's no lag whatsoever when watching videos and listening to music. The bass on this gets super nice, the treble is nice, the mids are nice. It's just an overall very nice sounding headphone. And now finally, we do get an app as well, and I did get one firmware update. So that's also another reason why you might want to pick up the threes, because you just get a little bit more future proofing, if you will, if Sennheiser decides to fix a bug or give us a bit better sound quality due to some sort of firmware, you will be able to update it directly from the app itself. Now, Smart Pause is something super cool as well. The minute you take these off of your head or even if you just remove them a little bit from your ear, it will stop the music, it will pause the music, and when you put it back on your ear, it'll start playing. Again, really convenient when you're talking to someone, if you go into a store and you just want to stop your music so you can hear the conversation, that's a great feature as well. You can turn off your voice prompts if you want to, and the tones, etc. Now there is Alexa built into it. You also can track these with the Tile app. So if you connect this to your Tile application, you can ask Google, find my headphones, and it'll start ringing your headphones. Again, I thought it was convenient. I always misplace where I put my headphones, so that's definitely a plus. The next thing you have here is your noise cancellation. Now the one thing I have to say, do not buy the Sennheisers for noise cancellation. If you really want to cancel out a ton of noise, the best thing to do is pick up a Bose QC35s or the NC700s as well as the Sony's. They do a much better job of canceling out noise, but for the commuter, if you're on a train, if you're on a bus, it does a very good job of canceling that type of noise. It's just not going to cancel everything around you. So if you are on a plane, I do not think this is going to do as well as the Bose have done. But again, you're buying Sennheisers for the sound quality because the sound coming from these Sennheisers is so much better than the other competitors. Just the noise cancellation is not up there with those competitors but I'll choose sound quality over noise cancellation any day of the week. Transparent hearing, if you toggle this button down again, it'll stop your music if you want to. So that's convenient as well when you're on the street and you want to talk to someone, you can just toggle down that switch and you'll be able to hear the conversation. It'll stop the music as you're going. But really the best part about this app is we now have an equalizer that we can set and you can change it. The default is right down here, giving you a nice little balance. And trust me when I tell you, if you raise the bass all the way to the top, you are gonna hear it. That was also a little complaint that I had from the twos. The bass was just not there. While it was a nice sounding experience, I'm someone that prefers a little bit more bass. I listen to hip hop, I listen to EDM, I listen to a lot of genres of music, but I just like a little bit more bass in everything I listen to. So thankfully, Sennheiser did a great job and the amount of bass coming from these headphones is now really pleasing. Definitely a huge plus from the previous generation and I think any type of music, as long as you're not a bass head, Sennheisers are gonna be very, very pleasing to your ears. I think you're gonna have no problem listening to music and enjoying every type of genre that you have out there. So again, guys, these are the Sennheiser 3s and I think they do an excellent job. These are my favorite headphones right now and these are the headphones that I've been using on a daily basis since I got them. Every type of music, podcasts, everything about it, even phone quality sounds really great coming from the Sennheisers. So if you're looking for an awesome pair of headphones, I can really recommend them. But if you're looking for a huge amount of bass, if you're looking for something to cancel out the world around you, these are not for you. These are just a well-rounded, well-balanced headphone in my opinion. Now I'm not an audiophile whatsoever, but I do like music. I do listen to music every single day. And no matter what I threw at it, thanks to that EQ on the phone, I was able to adjust it to really hear the music the way I want to hear it, whether it was bass all day, or whether it was a little bit more of a balanced sound. I was able to achieve that with the Sennheisers. But let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. If you did pick them up, let me know what you think about them. Check my link down below. I'll leave a link for these with the most relevant pricing. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.